by this professionally dressed woman. I feel naked in my Tommy hoodie and Victoria's Secret sweatpants with pink written across the seams. The sweatpants aren't pink though, they're gray. This always confuses me when I put them on, because shouldn't they say gray? On the back side? Maybe? Maybe Victoria's Secret is that she was colorblind. Gray will see you in a few minutes. Would you like a refreshment while you wait? Coffee. Soda. Tea? Gravy. <laughs> Gravy, I say. It's supposed to be a joke, but the woman nods and heads back down the corridor without question. A minute later, she returns with a clear pint filled with thick brown gravy. Before I can ask for water instead, the office door connected to the lobby swings open and a handsome African-American gentleman exists. Jay-Z? <laughs> what is this fucking book? He has me in his powerful grip. I've never felt so safe before. Never let go, I say, looking into his beautiful gray eyes. That would be problematic, he says. I'll have to let you go at some point. What if I have to pee? What if you have to pee? I don't care, I say. What if I have an important business meeting and I'm holding you and we're both covered in urine? I start to cry. You're right. Turning my face away from his gaze. Nothing lasts forever. Not even this perfect moment. Um, excuse me guys. Could, could you get off of me please? The homeless guy from underneath us said. Chapter eight. At once, Earl Grey's mouth is open upon me. His arms crawl up to the back of my robe as his touch. Suck. Wait. Wait, are they actually f***ing? Mamiya, Papa Pia, baby Katataya. Can I? Can you get in trouble for reading Smut on Twitch? Cackles, growls, and then cackles. What? How do you, how do you, ha ha, ha ha. <laughs> I am a virgin, I say, before correcting myself. Well, I was a virgin. Actually, you're still a virgin, Earl says, looking down at his point of entry. I'm in the wrong hole. I can't, I can't deal with this fucking book. I can't deal with this fucking book right now.